morning and welcome to Fully Charged Outside. We're here, it's happening. And I'm here today with one of the stars of the show, one of the surprise stars of the show. It's only the Tesla Model Y. Now, I'll let you in on a little secret. This car, not really supposed to be here yet because, well, they're not selling them in the UK yet, but we've got one anyway because a very, very nice man called Oliver has brought one over from Germany just so that we could have a look at it. And here it is in the UK, the first one. It would not be an understatement to say that this is probably the most important Tesla yet. It's probably going to be the most popular Tesla yet. So come on, let's have a little nose around. So it's a funny car, this one, because on the one hand, it's a really, really big deal. But on the other hand, there's not there's not a huge amount to talk about because, well, it's a Model 3 with a bit more arse, fundamentally. What I like about this car and what I like about Tesla in general is they listen to their customers. They listen to the feedback and they implement it. So, one of the big criticisms of the Model 3, not that much headroom if you're on the tall side, not quite as much boot space as maybe you'd like. Well, here's one with both of those things. It is quite literally a Tesla Model 3 with a bit more cabin space, a lot more room in the back, and a much, much bigger boot. It kind of falls into the sort of crossover SUV category, which I don't know if you've noticed, they're kind of on trend at the moment. So I think it's probably fair to say that this is most likely going to go on to be a very, very, very popular car. I, I would not be at all surprised if a couple of years from now, this was contending with the Model 3 in terms of outright sales figures. Let's have a little look around the outside and specifically the back, because that's where the change are. Welcome to the biggest change of the Tesla Model Y relative to the Model 3. It's got more trunk for your junk. This is an interesting comparison. Cameraman Andy, can we just pan over to the Model 3 here? We all know the Model 3, we all love it. Then we have the Model Y and just next to that we've got the Model X and actually about the same size. I think the Model Y actually a little bit taller at the back. And if we open the boot up, it's a big old boot. I mean, you could get a lot of stuff in there, maybe even a sort of medium-sized dog. This is one of the big things that Tesla owners have been requesting, a bit more boot space. Crossover SUVs are so popular these days. People just want lots and lots and lots of room, and the Model Y is giving you plenty of that. Should we have a look at the back seat? I think we better have. Do you want to see me do something that I could never, ever do in Model 3? Watch this. Ooh, six foot five, don't forget. And that is ample headroom. This was not a good place to be in the Model 3 if you were a human, adult, normal sized person. But in here, this is now a proper four human adult seater car. And it makes an awful lot of difference. This is so much better. And this is quite handy. Got a little spec sheet here. The main things you need to know are that much like the Model 3, there's gonna be three options you're going to have the standard range plus you're going to have the long range you're going to have the performance much like with the model 3. other thing quite worth noting with this car is it's built in china and that if you ask me is a good thing because from what i've seen the chinese built model 3s have shown a far superior build quality to the american built cars i don't want to hurt any feelings here but i'm just saying the panel gaps seem a little neater the paintwork seems a little better it all just seems a little bit more polished so I'm perfectly happy to have these cars built in China because it seems to result in, well, better build quality. And welcome to the front of the Model Y. Not an awful lot to uh, announce in here. It's left-hand drive, this car, as you can see, because it's a German car. There are no UK cars yet, although apparently they have started making right-hand drive ones, I believe, for the Hong Kong market. So they do have the ability to build them in right-hand drive. Wish they'd hurry up and bring them to the UK. Hopefully they're coming soon. But all this is as we have come to know and love from the Model 3. It's just incrementally improved over time, this interior. That's what I like about Tesla. Remember this used to be a horrible high gloss fingerprint magnet and then owners complained. And now it's a nice matte finish. These dual wireless phone chargers are wonderful. Any car that doesn't have this is now annoying to me because it's just so convenient. And look, there's two of them. I love that. Besides that, it's a Tesla. There are absolutely no buttons. We've got a big touchscreen here, which is just a delight to use. So intuitive. The best navigation in the game. The best voice recognition system in the game. Outrageous self-driving technology. What, what do you expect? It's a Tesla. They do this stuff very, very well. And actually, just back to the whole spaciousness of it, 
I don't know if it's a placebo thing, but I feel like I've got more room in the front. I think the, the roof may actually be higher for the front occupants as well. It just feels very, very, very spacious. Oh, it's a lovely thing. Should we have a little gander at Le Franc? Because I have a feeling it might be a bit bigger than the one on the Model 3. Look at that, automated Franc as well. Let's have a peek. And here's a Franc. There it is. It's definitely a little bit bigger than the one on the Model 3, as you would expect from a slightly larger car. One thing I should definitely mention that's just been uh, brought up to me, that automated self-opening Franc is not a Tesla feature. Owner Oliver actually runs a business that customizes Teslas and adds little aftermarket features. And that's a special touch that he has added to his car, which I quite like actually. And there's not an awful lot else to say really. It's a strange one, this car, because on the one hand, it's a really big deal. But on the other hand, well, we've sort of seen it before because fundamentally it's a Model 3 with a bit more room. And you know what? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. This is probably the best electric car in the world right now, all things considered. And this is a bit better. So what does that make it? Right, that's about it from me. I think the only way we could conclude this video is by hearing from an owner of Model 3 and getting their thoughts on this brand new Tesla. So uh, there's not too many people here because we've not opened yet. But guys, do any of you here own a Model 3? Uh, yes, sir, the young man at the front. Do you want to come join me on set? Yeah. Lovely, lovely. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. What's your name? Bob. Oh, nice to meet you, Bob. <laughs> this is the new Tesla Model Y. I'm blown away. It's amazing. What do you Look, make of it as a Tesla Model 3 owner? Well, it's bigger. It, yeah. It's like, because that's the Model 3 there. So it just everything about it is like, because I just thought it was the back. It was actually different. rides higher. The whole thing yeah. rides higher. But I've had a quick sit in the back. It's better. It's you know, proper so much more, spacious it is back proper there. spacious. So I really do. I mean, I, you know, it, I'm sorely tempted, even though they're not coming to the UK. Um, or yeah, not yet anyway. So this is a left-hand drive. Where is this from? This is German. This is German. This is a German car. This has been uh, driven over especially just for us. Just for us. And this is the only Model Y that's ever been in the UK. The first one. And first I think one. it's going to be huge. I, I mean, we yeah, no, both know how popular it. SUVs are right yeah. now. I've made my opinions on them known, but the fact is people like to sit higher. Well, they do like, they to, like to have a bit more space. It doesn't say SUV even as much as the Model, the Model X. I think it is. It is. I agree. It's a, when you stand here with it next to it, <laughs> those roofs are the same height. It's a big car. Yeah. It's, yes, in comparison with that, yeah. No, yeah. no dimensions-wise, it's definitely closer to the but X, the back, but you're right. The storage in the back. Huge. 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 Yeah. There no. we go. Model 3 with a bit more room. Not Middle, much else to say, really, is exactly, there? That's it. That's it. Yeah. Well, there we have it. The world's speediest review. Review would be stretching it. <laughs> Look it. at the new Model Y. A very, very important car. Well, maybe, all things considered, the best electric car that you can buy right now. It's very hard if to say. If that's the best electric car, and this is the same, but with more, yeah. this is the new best one. There we have it. Tesla Model Y. If you have been, thank you for watching.